Hi and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be my first gluten-free Friday segment and I'm going to be making some gluten-free fried rice. So I'm going to go throw up my hair and head to the kitchen and I'll see you over in the kitchen. So the first thing I'm going to get going is my rice. So I have my little pan here to start up my rice. As far as the rice that I use, I use the Minute Brown Rice and one cooked cup is half a cup measured out dry. So I'm going to measure this out three times and then I'm going to do the same with water because it's just equal parts water for it. Now the original recipe uses white rice and it's day old white rice but I find for me I like the brown rice cooked up fresh a lot better than the day old suggested in the original recipe and I will link that original recipe so you can take a look for yourself and alter it however you want. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my water to my rice, and again, it's just the same amount of water as you use for measuring out the rice, so I'm going to use the same measuring cup and throw that all in. I'm going to do that two more times. So now I have my water and my rice together, and I'm just going to make sure all the rice is in the water real quick, and then I'm going to throw this on the back burner for myself. And I'm gonna crank it up, get it boiling. I got my rice started. Right now I'm gonna get started on my veggies and stuff to put into my frying pan. Okay, so while my rice is going, the recipe calls for one small onion, so I'm gonna get ready with this and start chopping it up. And then also it calls for one cup of uh, peas and carrots. It suggests to just thaw out some frozen peas and carrots. I do have some that's already thawed. I just used the great value one. I think it works just fine. Those are what we're going to use for our base as we start up fried rice. So I'm going to get started on that. Okay, so while I'm prepping my onion over here, my rice has started to boil. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it up to simmer and bring that down so we can get it to simmering. And we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. And that's it. That's how easy the rice is. Okay, so I have my onions cut and I have my carrots and peas prepped. Um, I know this bowl is one cup because I've used it quite a few times for making this recipe. And my rice is still cooking, so I'm going to let that finish cooking and get started on sauteing the um, vegetables here. So I am using two tablespoons of vegetable oil. The original recipe calls for sesame oil. However, I had vegetable oil on hand when I used it and I liked the taste of it a lot. It said um, in order to get that restaurant quality taste in the original recipe, it, it recommends using sesame seed oil. So maybe someday I'll give that a try and see what I think. For now, I'm very happy with the taste that it gets from vegetable oil cooked up. All right, so I'm gonna add my onions in and get this started. So I just have that mixed up in the frying pan together. My rice is almost done and I have the veggies um, sauteing at about medium heat, right around five in the middle there. And I'm gonna keep stirring these. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rice off in just a little bit here. And I'm don't get worried about any chunks that are bigger for the onions, because as you cook them, they're gonna get softer and you can just split them apart very easily while you're cooking and stirring. So I'm going to let these get started because that takes quite a while. Once this part is done, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next step. So right now my rice is pretty much done. I'm going to stop the timer because my little one is falling asleep on me and I don't want to wake him up with the timer going off. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that off. I'm going to pop this off and just set it over here. While my veggies are cooking up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on prepping the other steps to this. So I'm just gonna get the eggs ready and I'm gonna get my soy sauce ready. So while I am waiting for my veggies to finish up here, what I notice is my peas start to come more snowy looking. They start turning more white. And then when I know it's done is when I can take an onion and press down on it with light pressure and it will just slice for me. So once that starts to happen, then I know that this is all ready to go. The onions become a lot more transparent and um, more of a yellow tint, but much more transparent than the white tint that they currently have. But this, they're getting close. This one is starting to break and that is a big piece there. So once that starts to happen, I know this part is done. I have my eggs prepped. So the recipe calls for two large eggs, lightly scrambled. So I did scramble them up already. And then what you're gonna measure out, or what I have measured out over here, is three tablespoons 
of my soy sauce. And originally, this is what I started using when I was using this recipe. Um, I ran out of this, and when I was at Walmart's, the only brand that they had that was gluten-free was this brand here. So I've been using this one. I don't like this one as much as in the sense their top here, I have to pop that off every time. Otherwise, it just does one drop at a time. Whereas this one, I'll have to take a look. I know I originally got this at Pick and Save, but it was quite a while ago. But this one, you don't have to pop that top off. It You can pour it out really easy. So I do like that. I don't notice much of a taste so far um, indifference. I know I like the taste of this one a lot. This is the first time I'm going to use this by itself fully because I used the rest of this up in the last recipe that I did this and then part of this one. So this will be the first time I'm testing it out completely with just the soy sauce. The original recipe calls for two to three tablespoons of soy sauce to your taste. I do three just because of using the brown rice. I just think it helps with the taste when you're using brown rice that absorbs all of that flavor. Now I am just waiting for my onions to show me that we are all done over here. Yeah, we're getting pretty close because these are starting to break. My peas are definitely ready. I'm not quite there, but we're almost. We're getting very, very close over here. So I'm going to let that continue. This is looking to be great and ready to go. I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove all the veggies to one side of the pan and I'm going to throw my scrambled, lightly scrambled eggs to the other side of the pan and I'm going to fry them up on that side of the pan and once they're cooked up, that's when I'm going to mix it in with my veggies. Now I'm going to set the camera down for this because I, I need both hands for this part. Okay, I'm trying to give you a shot here with the eggs on one side and the veggies on the other. And this is all I did because you got a hot pan and hot oil so those eggs cook up very fast. So all I did was run this through like this the whole time to help keep everything cooking um, evenly. And then now that my eggs are all cooked up, I'm going to mix my veggies back in with it. And then you'll get the eggs and the veggies all put together. Once I have this mixed up um, together, I'm going to go ahead and put my rice and my soy sauce on. Okay, so you can see I just dumped it right from the pan that it was cooking in for the rice. I threw it right into this frying pan. Now I'm going to mix this all together, but I'm also going to throw my soy sauce on. And that's all you do is you mix it all together once it's all combined. Like so the soy sauce turns everything nice and brown tinted. That's what I'm looking for is just everything's mixed together nice. Everything's warmed up together. I really like this recipe a lot. Okay, so this is the finished product. Everything's mixed together nicely. Everything's heated up. So I've turned off the burner and I'm going to go ahead and dish some out for myself. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we have the finished product here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. It's still very warm. It's very good. I think I do like the other soy sauce better, so I'm gonna pick up some more of that after I use this one up, but it's still very good. With this, I love how easy the recipe is. I love the taste of fried rice, so I'm glad I finally figured out a recipe that works for me. It was very simple to do. I'm going to have the original recipe linked to this. I'll also type out my recipe, that um, just the little alterations that I do for mine. But otherwise, it's very simple, very easy, very fast to make. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to stay up to date with the videos I'm making, please hit subscribe. That would mean so much to me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.